What's up, guys? Hey, welcome back to Thief Simulator 2. Today, we're stealing a bracelet. I tracked one guy's deliveries, and he ordered a very nice bracelet. He keeps it in a safe in 111. Steal it, gun it up, and send it via Black Bay. Business as usual. I've seen this. With the jewelry table, I think we can cut stuff up. We're going to need jewelry tools, though. Which we might be able to get on steel gear. Jewelry tools are going to cost us 1500 What I'm going to start doing, whatever's wanted on Black Bay, we're going to put that in here. So the headphones, the microwave, the radio, and the monoblock broken laptop. Everything else, we're going to take to the pawn shop. We should have been doing this for a while. If you stay a little bit more, you know organized and you take the time to pay attention you can make a bit more money and get some xp on top of it so we're going to start saving stuff and then over time we'll go in and grab all that and hopefully we can get the combos we need for the the black bay orders we're going to take all this stuff over to the uh the pawn shop here we should have a fair amount of money we had that drone and stuff like that we ended up going 100 percent on that i'm pretty sure i did not intend for that to work out like it did but it worked fantastically looks like a lot of the stuff we left in the locker back home, but hey, that's that's a little bit of cash. Now we're gonna go to 111. Oh my goodness, man, that, whew, the heists are insane. So it looks like this is our mark. Not good that it's close to so many neighbors and the duplexes and stuff there, but I do see a spot to hide, which is nice. So we're gonna pull this in here. And let's see, you recognize me from the posters? Good to see you. Oh, I, I, you're, the, you're the one that I stole from. You're the pink haired dude. Yep, I will. Don't worry. Okay, so 111. The Perry residence. Looks like we got somebody sleeping here. There are two people at home. I'm gonna take this thing down. Dude, the, the drone to be able to disable cameras is such a huge bonus. Use our automatic lock pick on this. Now this bracelet's gonna be in a safe. I'm just counting on the fact that they are most... Oop, I was gonna say that they are most likely sleeping, but they are they are not sleeping. He is... In fact, coming right at us. Ooh, looks like we've got a, a second story here, though. We need a glass cutter, dude. He's coming upstairs. Oh my gosh, okay. I mean, these these are all duplexes. We're not going to be able to go further down. We need a glass cutter. A glass cutter would make our life in infinitely easier. I think I might go and purchase one. I also just don't think now is the time to try to take this house on, because dude is upstairs just vibing. We just might... We might do a little bit more recon. I'm just gonna gonna keep an eye on them. I feel like 8 a.m. is always a good one. A lot of people set their alarms for that. Might be going to work, whatever else. So let's see what we can do. Everyone's recognizing us, man. We're famous. People really love our work. So automatic lockpick is is too good here. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sneak in and we're gonna try to tag some more people. Got another route. We got the guy in the bathroom here. We got some money on the table. I'll, I'll take that. I will never pass that up. And this is gonna be a problem. No, it's not. Let's go, dude. Okay. Gotta tag him. Is he gonna go to bed? He's gonna go to bed. Interesting. Huh. Tenant heard us. We gotta go. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. There's a dumpster right here. We're just gonna hide. We're gonna be fun. This is all part of the game. Yeah, it's just a, a random happenstance. Somebody happened to be in their yard. Nothing to worry about. Definitely not planning a heist on you. So we're going to chill here, watch the cops run around, and we're going to get the next... This person has a hot tub in their front yard. That looks like an insurance problem. But uh, this is looking pretty rough. There is a sleeping section. We know the other person was up during that, though. I, hopefully, they both sleep somewhere around here or something. I don't know. This isn't... An odd couple. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie. I hate this couple. They are very hard to track. They always shut their blinds so you can't actually, you know, read their their movements and stuff. But um, I think we've got it pretty well figured out here. So if we take a look at our notes, this is gonna be our opportunity. She is out of the house for three hours and then she comes back and sleeps upstairs for an extended period of time. Ooh, they might both be sleeping. I don't think so though. So here, when she first leaves, he's upstairs but he's going to come downstairs and go to the kitchen then he's going to go back upstairs then he's going to come downstairs then he's going to stay down there and then he's going to go upstairs so he's kind of all over the place but eventually he's going to be upstairs and he stays up there for most of the night while she's sleeping as well so what we want to do is hopefully find a way we need to take care of the upstairs while he's downstairs at 21 that's when we get upstairs because he's going to the living room sofa 
and then we have to get back downstairs and we can we can loot the whole downstairs from there so this is going to be interesting i'm not sure how we're going to manage it there's no back back entry okay this is a problem not that i see here definitely not creeping around with a flashlight you didn't you didn't see anything did you kid i didn't think so she's leaving okay she she has she has officially just left i'm going to Take them. Oh, it's probably not a good idea to take the stuff out front. Hopefully, she doesn't notice that when she comes back. Come on, baby. Here we go. Automatic lock pick. We gotta be sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. There's not a lot of room for air here. I don't know where their stairs are. Let me let me check our notes again. So he's downstairs in the kitchen. He's gonna go upstairs to the workroom. She comes home at 22, and he goes back down to the sofa. Okay. The workroom is this room, I believe. What's our... Oh, the safe's in here. Okay. We're good to go. Let's just crack this safe. So they've got the safe with the bracelet in the bedroom. That makes sense. 67. Be careful. Getting close. 9. 79. <sighs> what a beauty. Okay. We've got an electric guitar up here. I'm going to open this slowly. Now she's going to be coming home. We have the bracelet. Close that slowly. Do you have the jewelry tools? If not, you gotta buy them on Steel Gear. Now this is where things are gonna get a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna try to take whatever we can. Keep in mind that once she comes home, we have kind of free reign. Because they're both gonna be up here. So let's take whatever we can up here. I don't know if they're gonna notice that their stuff is gone is the problem. He didn't hear that. Oh my gosh, that was so lucky. I'm gonna take their landline phone. Black leather wallet conference phone in the bedside table that's aggressive okay let's be careful about the quick opening trev be really careful here nothing in the bottom money on top okay he's going downstairs okay let's open this up so now is going to be our time oh money he's down at the the sofa so this this is where it gets really sketched though because she's going to come home and the hour, and he's he stays on the sofa, so we have to make sure that she doesn't see us. I'm not even going to worry about taking the PC and stuff. The sofa faces away from us. I might... If we stay in the garage, and we just hide, I don't... I'm going to take that. Unless they notice that their stuff's gone, which we did take a significant amount of stuff. There's 20 XP there. Three kilograms. I might... You know what? Let's, let's use our skill. We haven't used this skill yet. I'm going to extend our backpack for a little bit we're gonna take this nothing else in the garage okay i'm just gonna chill here for a second ideally she's gonna come home he's gonna hang out on the sofa for an hour but then he's gonna go upstairs and he's gonna stay upstairs let me let me double confirm this he goes up at 11 p.m and then he stays up there and then he goes to bed but from from 11 to 5 a.m we're good to go as long as, as they don't notice that their stuff is missing. If they notice their stuff is missing, we're in a lot of trouble. Homie, I feel like your girl's out cheating. I'm not going to lie. Leaving at like 8, 8 to 11. Oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. Like 8, 8 to 10 p.m. every night. Just kind of a little sus. I'm not going to lie to you. She's coming home delirious. She has not noticed anything is missing. That is what I'm talking about. We are going to have free reign of downstairs. I'm taking their TV, bro. I'm taking everything. This would be the worst part about being a thief. Just sitting here in somebody's house just not able to do anything just being silent we're gonna get a nice haul from it i don't i, I don't think we're gonna have to knock off their security panel here he's gonna go upstairs in just a couple of minutes i mean it oh it's disarmed okay so yeah we don't have to mess with that that's good he's going upstairs just don't check the garage don't check the garage i'm gonna check the garage before i go to bed tonight i keep thinking they're stepping up to that door okay now we have free reign till 4 or 5 a.m we can take anything that we want oh this is insane okay i'm gonna take anything and everything we're gonna take the cash we're gonna take your headsets we're gonna take the landline off the wall we're gonna take your decor we're gonna take literally everything that that deer painting i might be taking it i'm assuming we're gonna take a tv though if he had a, a big tv i'm not gonna worry about shutting anything he was sitting in the living room watching tv for so long i'm assuming he's got a tv Nothing in there. Okay. Can we open these? Can't open those. We got a table and books. This is our bathroom. Can't quite get in the bathroom. Uh, I'm going to take your... I'm going to take your toothbrushes. You know what? You're going to have poor dental hygiene. Plaque is going to grow out of control. And it's all because 
you were really hard to to stock for this. I'm gonna take your frozen meals out of your freezer too. Can't get anything there. Checking the entertainment console. We got some headphones. I'm gonna take your audio system, your receiver. Our backpack is full. Three kilograms worth $75. Can we drop anything that's not, I, I mean, I doubt. We could drop a landline phone, but we're gonna have to drop something that's two kilograms or more. Low end laptop worth 300. Chessboard, not sure what that's worth, but it's wanted on Black Bay. I think we're just gonna leave it. Oh shoot, 20 XP for this? I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop the cheap landline phone. And we're gonna take the Xbox controller. We're gonna take the Sani phone. Another Xbox can, shoot dude, this is insane. TV remote, wooden decor we're dropping. I think there was some other decor, right? House decor, not sure what that's worth. Okay, we're gonna take the TV remote. We can't take the game pad, shoot. All right, I think we've taken most everything. We could take the, the wall clock, bro. I'm gonna take the clock. They're not even gonna know what time it is. That's five kilograms, I can't take that. Uh, then I'm gonna take this because I can carry it with two hands. So we're gonna unlock this and then we're just gonna, we're gonna step out real quick. I'm gonna take the damn painting off the wall, bro. F y'all, I don't like y'all. Thanks for the bracelet, thanks for everything else. I'm getting the heck out of here, baby. Nobody out on the street. Uh, there's kind of somebody on the street over to the right over there. I hope they don't see anything and notice anything. We're gonna be fine. Just slowly walk your painting away. Let's go. That was the best heist we've had yet. And we got the, the bracelet, the jewelry that we're gonna wanna break down. So let's throw everything in the back of the truck. We're gonna head to the uh, the pawn shop. It's our first order of business. Gotta get rid of the dirty goods. I can't believe how how well we just made out right there. That was amazing. All right, so I'm gonna pick... Uh... Oh, we have a computer in here right now too. I didn't know that. All right, that works. I think you could just throw things on the floor. I'm just, I, I don't even think you need to get it behind the red line. So I'm gonna pick that up. We're gonna throw this in as well. And we're gonna see... Yeah, the deer paintings in there, that's $300. And then I think the computer is in there as well, $500. All right, I'm gonna sell anything that's not wanted on Black Bay. House decor was only worth 15 bucks, probably could have predicted that, but it's fine. All right, sold all the good stuff, or all the, the bad stuff. We're gonna take the stuff that's wanted on Black Bay, we're gonna take it back to the house. We talked about how we're gonna start trying to actually sell lots of things that people want. Very busy and productive day. We're gonna sleep it off here, sleep till 10 a.m. And now we are gonna become a jewelry master. So we're gonna go into steel gear. We are gonna buy the jewelry tools for 1,500. And now I think we're gonna be able to use the work table. We're gonna be able to cut up jewelry we're gonna cut the gemstones out of it so it can't be tracked if we went to a pawn shop and tried to sell this really expensive necklace it would be found by the cops there'd probably be a, a police report about it but if we cut all the jewels out of it and sell those separately then it's gonna be much harder to track i mean diamonds and things sometimes have serial numbers on them but we should be okay so if we go to black bay gold bracelet parts thousand bucks and 100 xp that is what i'm talking Decent about job there I don't trust you one bit, but maybe there's a future for you. I need a few interior photos of 106. Get it done and I'll cut you some more debt. You know what's funny? We bailed out our former associate from jail. He owes us $100,000. My friend Vinny tells him what to do, like a dog. I enjoy doing that to you. <laughs> I mean, the good news is they cut a little bit of our debt there. The bad news is we still owe them $460,000. So gaining the trust little by little, and uh, hopefully they're going to keep giving us jobs here. So we want to sneak into 106 and take some photos. I'm thinking we probably want as much information on this as possible. So the Colebrooks on Madison Street, ooh, they've got a fence out front. They've got cameras and things. Okay, lots of security, it looks like. I'm just going to buy all of these. Wow, all right. There's a camera near the front entrance. All windows except the garage have window shutters active at night. That's the worst. There's a back entrance. Mail tenant is armed. The maid has pepper spray. Mail tenant leaves at 8 and comes back at 17. Female tenant stays home all day. Maid comes in at 8 and leaves at 18. So there's always going to be two people in the house, but maybe catch some people while they're sleeping. Sony flat TV in the living room. A cinema camera in the bedroom safe. A red lens. Red camera. And then a vintage typewriter in the basement. Now, something we could start doing is also checking out Hell Neighbor. And let's see if there's anything on 106. Because if there's like planting evidence or anything, photographs, there's nothing on 106, unfortunately. I was going to say, if there's something we could do while we were already there, 
it wouldn't hurt. Let me take a look at our notes for the Colebrooks here. Okay, so we don't know what goes on from 8 to 17. I'm assuming this is the maid. I think we need the full picture. We're going to go check this out. 106 Madison. Let's scope it. Parking lot is pretty far from their house, which is never ideal. That, uh, I don't know. Makes me a little bit nervous off the bat, but we're going to be fine. We're going to, we're going to find some opportunities here. That's for sure. So right now we know for a fact, the husband is out of the house. The wife stays at home. I mean, we could, we could probably just pop this really quick. And take a look in the backyard. There are two people inside the house right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try to tag both of them. One's going to be the maid. One's going to be the wife. So the wife goes out to the back garden here. The maid is still inside. I think the husband's going to be coming home soon. I'm hoping the husband is sleeping in here. The maid's gone. The wife is sleeping. She's out on the porch and then she goes to bed at 2 a.m. And then she goes to the bathroom and then sleeps through here. So I'm really hoping we have some overlap in here where all three are essentially out. Looks like Cubby's coming home right now. Ooh, he see, he does, he sleeps a little bit. All right, we're gonna have to wait till nighttime, but it looks like he sleeps, he goes to the bathroom and then he sleeps some more. So I wanna see what happens in here. Okay, it's 2 a.m. and we're, we're going for it. We know we have a small window here. We need to figure out what that window is. A little bit quieter here if we can, Trev. Here we go. 106, we know they're both sleeping for at least the next hour. It's gonna be a little bit sketch though. Open this up, 245, close this behind us. Hoping for the best here. Please don't wake up right off the bat. There it is, we got it, we got it, okay. Um, so he he sleeps through six, goes to the bathroom at seven and then leaves the house. She sleeps through three, she wakes up at four and goes to the bathroom and then goes, goes back to bed. So we need to watch out for her. Where's the bathroom at? They don't have a, a bathroom in here. Okay, we let's, can we get this open really quick? We only have until four. Probably not the best idea here, Trev, but we're, we gotta work quick. We gotta work quick. Oh my God, come on, come on. We got a half hour left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it. Open it up. What is this, the camera? This is the camera, isn't it? Yes, yes, take that. Shut it, shut it, shut it, shut it. Make sure she can't notice anything's missing. All right, we gotta go. Uh, there's a flat screen TV. There's money on the table. She's gonna go to the bathroom. I don't know where. I don't know where the bathroom is. I'm gonna hide in the closet. Okay, she's gonna get up here in a second. Somebody out front almost saw us there, but we're good. Okay, so she's she's up on the bathroom. We're we're stuck in here for right now. Pick this up. We have a note on the table. Honey, please pick up my package from the parcel locker code 77611. We need to start writing these down. 77611. We have like an actual notepad here. I've found like three or four of these, and I thought they would show up in like your automatic notes, but it doesn't. They, you need to like actually remember them yourself. So we're gonna check that here in a second. Okay, so she's going back to bed and we're gonna have until 7 a.m. All right, we, we gotta be we gotta be very quick about this. Let's see what we have going on. Oh, hello. Okay, as soon as she leaves the bathroom, we gotta, we gotta get going. I'm gonna check every single one of these drawers. We're kinda st stuck here. We also wanna grab that TV before we leave. There's a high value TV. Just gonna try to open all these. What is this, like their junk room? They don't have anything in here. It's just dead empty. There's, I mean, there's a vacuum cleaner. I'm not gonna pick, that's not gonna be worth anything. Okay, we need her to go back to bed. We also need to take the, the pictures. Oh gosh, we're good. That is so terrifying thinking that somebody could be creeping around in your, your extra bedroom while you're sleepily walking around, going to the, the restroom and stuff. All right, so we, we want photos. We need to take the pictures. That's why we're here. So they want a photo of the bathroom. Looks like they might want a photo of the bedroom. You want a photo of the people sleeping? I mean, I got you, you weirdo. Okay, I'm gonna grab, uh, I'm not gonna grab that yet in case we don't have a chance to get the heck out of here. Is there anything, a micro? <laughs> be careful, Trev, be careful. We got money here. Okay, we got some good stuff in the garage. We got a projector, beautiful. We have a chess piece skateboard. Is this, this is the basement, it's gotta be. Going down to the basement from the garage. 
Got it. Okay. We have till 7 a.m. And the, the bathroom that he's going to looks at the entrance to the garage. So we need to grab whatever we can down here and we need to go. Just take a photo of it. Got the photo. All right. Is there anything else down here that we want? I'll take the chime. Maracas. I'll take a couple maracas. And I, I think we got to go. We have an hour left. If there's anything valuable, we want to grab it. I think as soon as we grab the TV off the wall, they're going to know something's up. So let's just try to... Grab whatever we can as quick as we can. Coffee machine, I'll grab that. I'm not even gonna take any, I'm not gonna take any chances, bro. I think we gotta get out of here. So I'm gonna open this slowly. Take that off the wall. Nobody's passing by. We are quick and efficient, baby. That is what I'm talking about. They're gonna wake up in 10 minutes and call the cops and we're gonna be long gone, baby. That was well executed. Truck is parked down the street far out of earshot let me go ahead and drop this in there and we are good to go let's go baby that was a clean slate yeah man unfortunately i bought this tv from best buy and i uh i just don't I, the picture quality is not good enough the, the you know colors aren't aren't right so i'm gonna go ahead and let's sell everything except for the things that we might get more on black bay 1500 on the red lens movie camera in real life that red is like 50k so would have been nice to have that but uh beautiful let's take our black bay stuff back to the hideout got an iphone here that needs unlocking and we could go ahead and sell that for 540 bucks we're making some good some good money here looks like we want to learn car theft level one and buy a car lock pick gun for our next one good girl all right so grand theft auto coming up next who needs gta 6 when we have it here in thief sim hope you guys enjoyed i will see you guys in our next episode let's go boost some cars i'll see you there